Good day from Label Expo. My name is Wayne Robinson, editor of the Print 21 Media Platform, and I'm here on the e-productivity software stand with Alex Latich, General Manager of Packaging. Good day, Alex. Good day. Good day to all the viewers. Yeah, as uh, e-productivity software, obviously uh, the biggest, biggest MIS web to print company in the industry right now. You're at this label show. Uh, what's your message to the label printing world? Well, you know, uh, I missed a couple of Label Expos, obviously, because of the events of the last couple of years, but I've attended Label Expo for the last 20 plus years, and what's always compelling here is you see all of these different machine manufacturers, different technology providers, and I know that the label converters are confounded on how to put this technology together to bring them more value. And the reason we're here is we're the glue that sticks everything together quite simply put. So our Radius ERP system is an end-to-end -end ERP system that does data collection, scheduling, estimate, everything. Does everything, orders, uh, doesn't make you coffee though, but, <laughs> but close to it. And it'll interface to a lot of different systems. We're talking about HP Indigo. We're doing real-time data collection. Uh, so you have full traceability, full costing from your HP presses. We also interface to ESCO and, and um, provide job information and receive job information. And then we're also uh, providing hardware connections to analog equipment. So if you want to know how fast your label machine is running or your uh, shrink wrap machine is running, anything like that, we put all that together. So quite simply, a lot of these uh, exhibitors here, uh, we have customers that we're integrating everything that they're providing to that label converter through our system to the customer. Okay, that's terrific. And so it's not just with one manufacturer though, is it? If a label printer is working with so, as the equipment from several different suppliers, manufacturers, you can work with all of them. Absolutely. So AutoCount is our data collection platform. It's been around for probably more than two decades. And uh, it's really out of the box technology. Uh, you have all of uh, the parameters that we've accumulated over the years. Uh, it is a very smart system. We put in some PLCs, uh, uninvasive to the hardware manufacturer, so no issues about warranty and we can collect the signals, it goes into a database, and then you can use it with our ERP or anybody else's. I mean, we have customers using AutoCount and PrintFlow, scheduling platform with SAP, for example. So I think it's a quite democratic platform. Okay. And um, one of the uh, big developments from you guys, eProjectivity Software, has been, and we see on the sticker behind me, your link up with HP Indigo. Do you want to tell us about that a little bit? Oh, Alex? marvelous. So. About almost two years ago when we became an independent company, uh, it was really an opportunity to focus on ourselves and our software business and on our customers. And this allowed us to invest directly into our software platforms and then spark partnerships with companies used to compete with us, like HP. Now that we're independent a software company, we can work with them freely. And this fostered a lot of creativity and a lot of benefit to our customers. So what do we have today? We actually have a system that can interface to their HP DFE, collect the data real time without needing to stop the machinery, and then we know exactly what material was used, how much of it for every single job. This is imperative for costing purposes and also traceability. Quite amazing stuff. Okay, that's good to hear. Now, also one of the developments that's happened recently with eProjectivity Software has been your acquisition of Tharston, the MIS developer. Can you tell us the rationale behind that and what that means for the industry? Well, we're very excited about that. I mean, um, but you know, two years ago when we became independent, we made two promises to our ownership and to our customers that we would grow organically and inorganically. So the acquisition of Tharston is really the major inorganic growth that we've uh, demonstrated. And Tharston is a wonderful company. It is addressing uh, a lower part of or can address a lower part of the label market that traditionally Radius uh, is really okay. too complete to address. So with Tharston's new cloud software uh, coming out next year sometime, uh, we hope to address customers that we weren't able to address before. And by the lower market, you mean the smaller operators, the smaller players? Yeah, the smaller yeah. companies, you know, I would say somebody uh, six million uh, in yearly turnover or, or below. Yeah, I wish uh, there's plenty of those around. Absolutely, and it's the large, you know, it's an interesting point. It's the largest total available market in packaging yeah. is label, so we'd be silly not to want to play in that. Okay, um, and then e-productivity software, as you say, you became independent two years ago. 
So it's been two years into the journey now, so you're presumably fully functioning as an independent business now. Absolutely, we got a taste of our own medicine. Uh, we went live with our own ERP system because we had to you know, carve out from EFI's uh, SAP instance and uh, we had her go live in July. Yeah. Uh, very happy and proud to say that it hasn't affected any customers and uh, hasn't affected many majority of our team and we thank all of the team members that sweat blood and tears to get that to happen because we know it's not easy. <laughs> okay, and talking of not easy, when I'm a label printer, and particularly the smaller ones that we've just alluded to, just, just been talking about, bringing in a, a software solution, workflow solution, is, it used to be quite a complex business in the past. What's it like these days? Is it straightforward? Are you cloud-based? Is it straightforward? Is there a lot to it? Well, it really depends how deep you want to go. Yeah. You know, uh, an implementation or an automation strategy takes time to execute. So you have to decide what your priorities are and where you want to start yeah. first. Many customers, their biggest headache is estimating. Others, their biggest estimating is what's happening on the shop floor. So we can go in a modular way and help them address those specific areas. In terms of ease of use, I'm glad you asked that question. Yeah. We've invested a lot of money, even in our Radius platform, to make the user experience more appealing, easier to use, fun to use. Yeah. And, uh, and, I, and if you look at our interface today, it is really much like that. We've taken a lot of the functions that used to have to go to different screens and we've made it easier to use and in one place and customers are really loving it. Now, with the advent of uh, the SVE Cloud, um, which is coming from the Tharsten side, that will be an extremely easy to configure system, much easier than Radius, but of course, for an emerging label printer, yeah. I hate to call them small because yeah. everybody's growing, yeah. um, it's perfect because it really gives them everything they need or will give them everything they need out of the box with minimal setup. Yeah. Okay, well that's good to hear. Alex, it's been great to hear yeah, the latest installment of, of the e-productivity story. You're obviously you've got to make a major impact on the industry. Thank so you. Uh, thanks for your time. Thank you very much. Enjoy the show. Thank you. And this is Wayne Robinson signing off on the e-productivity stand for Print21.